Hi everyone, Gray Power 60 here. I did the stupidest thing today. Oh my god. Um, I put a couple of wieners to boil on the stove and um, usually I put timer because when I come in here and start doing crafts, I forget all the time. Well, I'm sitting here watching one of my videos and suddenly the alarm goes off my inside my fire alarm. We're running out all this smoke. My wieners were burnt to the pan. Thank God they didn't catch fire. It was all smoke. I can't believe I did that. How stupid, how stupid, how stupid, how careless. My first instinct was to go and put the timer on. Because if I put the timer on for anything, then I know I have to remind me that, hey, we got something there going on. So I got a house full of smoke, not, not much in the bedroom. I, I opened the window, of course the cat loves it. I got the fans going, I got everything going, but you know, because my living room is closed up with my air conditioner in there, I can't open the window. So I got fans, I got fans going all over the place, trying to get rid of the smoke. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but bad enough. So that's what I did honestly um so i was watching a couple of videos last night about um the atc cards which is basically our i mean because i'm late coming in on crafting i'm not i'm not a scrapbooker tried to be at one time just to get into it <coughs> excuse me so uh when pocket letters came up i thought oh I'd like to try that. Um, my first couple of them weren't really that great. Um, they're getting better with time. I'm getting a little bit more and more creative, a little bit more uh, putting more uh, types of media on it rather than just the paper and stickers, which is basically what I was doing. Um, so now I've, uh, I've tried this. One of the girls has got to give away. You've got to do an age. ACG ATC card, which is basically a, a pocket letter card because it's all the same size, two and a half. So I did this one. It's supposed to be one Halloween card. Um, and this thing that I stuck on there, actually, I should put it the other way because it would be cooler. There we go. And that sitting on there, that squirrely thing, this is a paper clip. Isn't that cool? Um, I don't remember where I got them. I have a couple of them. So I just thought I'd stick that on there. So um, I did some stamping. I did some, I don't know, whatever. I added all kinds of stuff on it. And then you're also supposed to make a card. Well, I've never made cards. And I'm looking at these girls. And of course, they're so professional. So I thought, well, Come along with me on my journey here while I make a fool of myself. So, what the first thing I need, and I have nothing prepared, so you're really going to be, you know, coming with me on this little journey. So, they're not pocket letters. They are cards. Cards that you would send. I have lots of junk here. Cards that you would send to, to your friends so I could put this inside of it I guess I don't know it's not that I want to be part of the giveaway I just wanted to be part of the whole process I thought it was fun oh by the way see my little table here I spray painted it white this was the little brown one too too little Let's get rid of some here some stuff here's another pocket letter I gotta send out I need Casey's address I also have one to send to Kathy I don't remember if I had sent Kathy one or not. I think I did. I, I keep a list of everyone that I send pocket letters to because um, I don't want to say, oh my God, I forgot and actually didn't. So I will have to check that out. Oh, I usually have a garbage bag full of junk sitting on my chair here. Yeah, so this turned out okay. I mean, 
I've never spray painted in my life. I really should have taken a video. You guys would have just laughed your head off. I used the whole can of spray paint because I didn't know. I took these two apart because I wanted to keep the little black legs here. And I don't know. Uh, I put the washi tape. So I use it for my stamps here and the washi tape. I kept this washi tape here because I thought that was really handy. Because I don't use all of them all the time. And put my stamp back there. Put my other. This is the big corner stamp that I got. That reminds me, they had a 40% off coupon. I didn't get one, but I bet you I could find one. Um, for that multi crafting store that I went to, and they had a bunch of stamps, and there was two in particular. You know, I might be gone now. But they were like regular, like 20 some dollars. They were on sale for nine. If I had the 40% off, I could have got it for like, you know, five dollars. Which is a heck of a lot cheaper than a lot of these other goodies here. So, I put these little washies. So this was my, and it turned out, okay, um, the spraying was really horrible. I've never done it before. I don't know whether it was because it was brown and I was really trying to, to you know, kind of cover everything and I really didn't and then it kind of stuck and it was sticky and I think I have a thumbprint in there somewhere. But it's done. It's good enough. And did it ever stink? It took like four days to get rid of the smell. And I, I mean, I used a good brand, so I don't know. Back to creating a card. I have no idea what to do. Um, they say, I think, I think um, what they usually do is um, they just get regular, like, like regular eight and a half by eleven. Cut it in half, cut it in half, so it's like four and a quarter by five and a half card size. That's what they say. So, anyway, I had a lot of fun trying to figure that one out. So, now I need some paper. And I don't have eight and a half by eleven, so I'm going to have to find, and I don't really have plain paper. So maybe I'll use like something like this and then I can put, you know, something prettier on top, another piece, because I've got lots of paper under here that I could be using. Let's look down and see what the heck I gotta do. Alrighty, oh, I threw it. I threw it. Or is it the right one? No. Yeah, I got some here. I was using this for taping, I put some remarks on here. So, no, that's not it. It must be on this one. Let's see. So, eight and a half by eleven, then you cut it in half, it ends up being, when you fold it all up, four by five and a half. Huh? Okay, maybe I didn't do this right. So if I had an eight and a half by eleven and I cut it in half, it would be four and a half by five and a half. Right? Right? If I have an eight and a half by eleven, which this is, I'm really stupid guys, okay? So bear with me. So that's a twelve, so it's not quite eight and a half by eleven. So let's say this is 11 here, and this is, it's almost eight and a half, it's about here. Okay, so let's just for fun here, just do this, oops, I shouldn't do it on that, right? Silly girl, alrighty, I have no idea what I'm doing, I am just, just want to sort of get some ideas here. This is what an amateur does when you're trying to figure out, oops, when you're trying to figure out stuff. Okay, so this is my, um, this, so this is eight and a half by 11, what I've cut out there. So if I fold it in half, and I'm just doing this to show you, if I fold it in half, 
then my measurement will be, oops, wrong side. My measurement would be five and a half. Five and a half by eight and a half. Okay? So that makes sense. Five and a half by eight and a half is the size of half of a letter, half of a regular letter, letter paper. Okay, so I need to cut this to five and a half by eight and a half. God, it's going to be a crazy video. You guys are going to think I'm nuts. Okay, so I need to go to eight and a half. Eight and a half is right there. So, just going to cut this. That's eight and a half that way. So I need to have it five and a half this way. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this should fit into here. And it does sort of. It's pretty close. My measurement's probably off anyway. So now, when I fold it in half, this is the card. Oops. I should have scored it, right? Eight and a half, four and a quarter. Let's do the four and a quarter. So that is four, and that should be a quarter. That should be halfway. Okay. Do I know what I'm doing? Not really. Let's score it and see if I can kind of have things a little awkward for me. There we go. It folds a little bit better. This paper must have been crooked. This pepper must have been prepared. So let's let's oops, go this way. Go this way. Because if it's straight and I cut it, it should have been yeah, it's off a little bit. So I was not being very precise with my my cutting. I have to off a little bit. Off, but wait a bit, but that's okay because I don't know what I'm doing anyway. Alrighty. So this means that this should fold. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so this is the card that I'm supposed to decorate. I'll fix it up later. Right now I'm just doing stuff. Next step is. They always put some kind of um, cover on there or something or whatever. So I've got to come up with some scraps of paper. I do have some in here. Two. See, I started one and it looks ridiculous. I thought it looked ridiculous. And then I tried another one. One, I mean, it's okay. I could probably still play with it. Um, I tried another one where I cut a hole and put a picture of myself uh, in a clown outfit that I had dressed up for Halloween years ago. If I find it, I will show you. But in the meantime, so I need to put something pretty on there. How about this? This could be like a Halloween one. Not this one. This could be a Halloween one. But supposing I didn't want it to be a Halloween one. Supposing I wanted it to be just kind of pretty. So I need to find some paper. I mean, they always use patterned ones, right? So I don't know. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like that one. Purple. As you can see, I wasn't prepared to do the video. I'm just doing stupid things here. And then I've got this one that's pretty color. And I got this one. And I got plain. I could always use plain. And 
all these little pieces. Never know. I have so many scraps, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Alright, so we'll put this one aside for now because that is a real mess. So it's got a blue polka dotted background. So I could do the green polka dots on the top and then decorate that. Or I can put a plain gray and decorate that. What do you guys think? Let's try a plain one. I can do all of this other fancy stuff later. So I guess I need to have it. If this is um, five and a half by four and a quarter, I would probably want this to be quite a bit smaller, say with a half inch around. So I would make this say five by three and three quarters, right? Trust me, guys, I know nothing about what I'm doing. So three and three quarters by, what did I say, five. So we're going to do it the long way here. All right, so this is five. Because it's five and a half and I want a quarter inch on each side, or do I want more? And let's try this. We can always cut it later. Just have to find five. There's no... That's five by four and a quarter. No, three and three quarters. Always use the straps. And then I glue that on there. Like that. And then pretty it up. Yeah, right. Alright, since I don't know what I'm doing, I'm gonna use this glue because just because, just because. Just because, just because I want to. I mean, it's not going to be the best, but come along with me, guys, on this silliness journey because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, it fits inside those dots. Isn't that genius of me? Almost. Oops. Crooked. See? I can't do anything right. Maybe the dots are crooked. What do you guys think? Maybe the dots are crooked. No, it's just the way the paper is. Alright, so now I've got that cutie pie thing. I need to embellish it, right? Right, 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 right. So, these pretty flowers. There's green and yellow. I thought I had another one there. I do. And the red one. Ooh, the orange is pretty. Kind of like the green. And then I've got these here that I could use as well. I've got lots of the ribbon. I'm still not happy with my little work area here because everything is all over. Oh, look at this beautiful purple. Purple ribbon. Of course, I've got this ribbon too, but it's got the wire. I could take the wire out. Ooh, that is really pretty. I like that. I like that. If I can get the wire out, right? Wouldn't that be pretty? Can you guys see me okay here? Kind of. How's that? This is very pretty. So let me cut it. I wonder if I can go all the way around. So if I cut it so that it fits all the way around, I don't have to cut it with a so Cut it about here. Now let's see if we can get that those wires out. Oh no, it's not that kind of wire. The whole edge of it is wire. I saw a video where somebody had taken the wire out, and I thought, oh, how cool, but this this whole piece is wire. I'm pretty sure. So that's 
that's not going to do what I wanted. Well, maybe I could use it anyway and just kind of make it kind of like that. Let's kind of cut it off here. I can work with it better. I could flatten it down and really press it. And make that kind of pretty. I could use this. ribbons. Maybe I should be using these because I've had them forever and I never use them, but they're all, they have words on them. And I glued it back together. Yeah. Alright, let's see what's in here. You know, if you leave them in the package and you leave them sitting in there, half the time you don't even use them because you forget they're there. So maybe we should keep them out. So this one says best wishes best wishes this one's happy birthday this one is congratulations this is a thank you oh this one's plain i think and this one is happy birthday all right so obviously happy birthday is not going to cut it i could do a thank you but it's yellow so if I do a yellow thank you, a yellow thank you, I could have a yellow flower on there. Oh, that is cool. Look at how they did that. Oh, this is a cool. It's it's um attached so that you can. It's still part of the cardboard. So I can cut off the little cardboard. And it, I'm going to do a better job than that later. I just needed something to kind of, but isn't that cool? Actually, I didn't even need to cut it. It has perforation there. It goes in the circle. Live and learn. I didn't know. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. I'm just going to cut it anyway. Anyway, for now, this is good. It's just to give me some ideas. And thank you. Like that. Let's just sort of cut it here. So I'll have the whole thing hanging out. And I left the tape on it here so it'll give me some stability so I could put this here. Thank you across there. Could I still use this possibly? Here. Scotch tape. You want to see how things look, you kind of have to take it all just to kind of get you an idea. I play around a lot, and then I end up not even using half the stuff that I have. And then there's a little lace piece I have here. And then I've got some of this, kind of like a raffia. Kind of a raffia, which I like because it's brown. Down to go down the side. I kind of like that. Making it kind of crinkly. And that side and just fit. Maybe the thank you doesn't have to go there. Just to go across. I'm playing here, guys. So this is my, this is why I don't do videos on this, because my thought process is so long. 
have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know if I like that yellow, but yellow is also bright. It's a very bright yellow. Very bright. Or so of these sparklies. I could put these on something. I could put something. I could put these on something. Give me some ideas. Oh, that was a silly thing for me to do. I didn't realize it was sitting on this plastic piece. There, just get rid of that. And I could put it under another piece of something. Nope, I'm not happy with any of this. I'm not happy with any of this. I'm not happy with the thank you. I'm not happy with... You know what? When you're not happy with something, just one thank you up here. I might be able to get rid of this. In my little bag. Um, box of embellishments, maybe a butterfly, a purple, not the same purple, but, and then I've got this. Sometimes just looking at your embellishments, you kind of get some other crazy ideas. Na, 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 na. So I'm going through all of my embellishments, not all of them, but some of them. If there's anything that strikes me, you are beautiful, fabulous, blah blah blah. Hello, darling. I thought there was a thank you, but then there's a heart. This one is. I don't want you to hello, your fabulous stuff, but maybe this banner hanger. It's a crown. It's a crown. It's a crown of matched crown. Okay, guys. Obviously, this is going to be taking me a heck of a lot longer than I expected. But you see the process. It's like I see these girls doing them like bang, bang, bang. They, you know, did they prepare before their video? that they knew what they were going to do, or if they've been doing them so often, sorry I'm sitting on my cushion, uh, if they've done them so often, they know exactly what they're doing. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So when I get stuck or frustrated or not quite sure what I want to do, um, I usually um, stop and watch a couple of videos and go, oh, I could do that. I could do this. I could use that. This is almost, you know, I could, oops, it's just like, I remember to open it the right way, right? I could put this in here with a little sleeve to stick things in to make it different. I don't know. This is long enough. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Susan, for all the kind words from um, Miss Sunshine for me sending her the Halloween pocket letter. Um, it was from the bottom of my heart. Um, the only thing I forgot to do was send a personal note because I always just put kind of a standard little note in there, but um, I apologize for that. And um, thanks for uh, sharing it on your video, Susan. I really, really appreciated that. And... Um, 
just waiting for Casey to get a hold of me, uh, to give me her address, because I have a pocket letter to send to her, and I've got two more to send out. Surprise, surprise, I'm not telling the soul. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, I really appreciate it. When I get better at this, I'll uh, do a DIY and show you what the heck I'm doing, because I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm learning, and I'm having fun, and it does get frustrating. I was up till 5.30 this morning, all night, working on a couple of stupid things, including this. Not this particular one took me that long. This one took me about 20 minutes. But trying to do these cards, trying to figure out how they get, you know, I may not just, may not be the card-making kind of person, I don't know. Or maybe I just need a little bit more, um tutorials to watch and give me some ideas because that's usually what motivates me if I see something. I have saved eight or nine videos on craft making and as soon as I do a couple of them I am going to do DIY and show you because they were fun looking, just fun. Oh, I did try one. I gotta tell you, it's so hilarious. I don't cook anymore. I don't bake anymore. Very rare. Um, I don't make big meals, I don't do a lot of cookies and candies and all of that stuff. I used to. When my kids were young, I made homemade candies and treats and cookies and cakes and all kinds of things and, and wonderful meals and stuff. Well, I, I was at the grocery store and I saw this display of chocolates, um, like chocolate covered pretzels, chocolate covered Twizzlers. Um, Okay, so, and I saw this one that I really liked and wanted to try it. You're going to laugh. You're going to laugh. I laugh. And that's not why my fire alarm went off. It was a hot dog. So I got a whole bunch of ingredients. I bought some baker's chocolate. And what I saw was it was a Rice Krispie on a popsicle stick covered in chocolate. Baker's chocolate is not the right chocolate to use. You need the chocolate that hardens right away. Baker's chocolate stays soft. I didn't know that. So I mean, <coughs> I got. I should show it to you. You want to hold on? Oh, did I throw it out? I really should show it to you. You're gonna laugh. Hold on a second. If it's handy, I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. garbage and it would have taken me longer to take it all apart. Sorry about that. Okay, so I put the Rice Krispie on a popsicle stick and I used this. Remember this? This little play thing that I put like for putting our um, uh, anything that you want to stand up in it, right? Like our paper clips and stuff. Cool idea. So I, ah, I can use it. Put the popsicle stick it worked great. I put a popsicle stick in it. I put the popsicle stick in a Rice Krispie square. I put the Rice Krispie square on that thing, waiting for the double boiler to melt all the chocolate. Chocolate's all melted. Waiting for it to cool a little bit. I don't, I didn't have any instructions. I was just going by what I bought, right? So I took the Rice Krispie square and I started covering it with the chocolate, covered it with the chocolate, put it on the stand. An hour later, chocolate still soft, crisp Rice Krispie square fell off because it was melted because of the heat. It was hilarious. Hilarious. So obviously I need to go and get those chocolate pieces that actually harden for you right away. The Adventures of Donna trying to do things without reading instructions. See, it's a guy thing, right? Guys do that. They just do stuff without reading instructions. Well, sometimes I do that too. Anyway, 
that is my video for today. It is way too long. Thanks for joining me. The crazy life of Bright Power 60. It's unbelievable. I have so much fun, and yet everybody thinks I'm not. Maybe I am. Who cares? Who cares? At my age, I can do whatever I want. Well, almost. Take care. Love you lots. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.